And wait, look at the tip of this finger. What the heck? Like the bone is sticking out. How disgusting. Alright guys, today we are in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, going to a spirit Halloween in an abandoned Sears Grand. That actually said Grand up there, it might even be Grande. Grande! <laughs> I'm an idiot. No, looking at it closer, I don't think there's an E on the ender, it just said Grand. But there's the spirit sign way down there on the blue side of the building, which is reminiscent of a Toys R Us. And there is the front of the building. It would be much cooler if the sign was over top of that and you can kind of see like the bumpiness of that sign shining through the spirit sign. You know, kind of like the way I'm gonna Photoshop it for the thumbnail. <laughs> but anyways, I hope this store is just as enormous as it appears to be. Let's go in and find out what kind of Halloween goodness they have in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Look at this, the old enter signs from Sears. And right up front, holy crap guys, for the first time in 80 some stores, what is this, it's store number 83 or something, we have the bog zombie right up front. Oh yeah, I am liking this store already, guys. Just standing right here looking at this looks so awesome. And it gives me a little heartache because I know that in just a few weeks, it's all gonna be gone. All right, let's say hello to Lord Raven here. Hello, Lord Raven. Look at those nostrils. Has anybody hooked him up to an external speaker so you could hear him better? I would like to know. And we got Boggy over here talking to us in some kind of language I don't understand. Some say that he's saying water, but I don't know. That just looks so awesome to me right there, guys. Just standing there looking at it. I could stand here for hours or minutes. Let's go ahead and go through. <laughs> We'll say hello to Grim in just a second, but look who they have standing over here. Oh my gosh, if they ever wanted to sell me on the giant inflatable Reaper, they just did it by having him blown up right here. Look how absolutely enormous he is. I love how his eyes light up. And here's his, uh, I don't even know, lantern, I guess it is. And there's a light up in there that makes the lantern shine. He would look so totally awesome in the dark. Okay, let's come over and say hello to Grim. Hello to Grim. Oh, keep talking, my friend. Come on now. Look at this, he's still moving, but he's not talking anymore. All right, Grim, come on. You best be careful where you tread on this dark night. You don't know who you will run into. Creatures and creepy crawlies lurk out from I like how the music is quiet enough in here you can actually hear the animatronics. You know what, let's leave this guy some stickers right down here. Alright, let's come around to the other side because I see they also have some other inflatables here. We have the inflatable headstone. And then over here, look who it is, guys. It's the secret keeping cat. I wish he was a lot bigger, but they do have inflatable cats that are like absolutely enormous. Like that one we saw at the at-home store that was absolutely huge and had like the spinning eyes and everything. He was awesome. Oh, and we have the pumpkin stack inflatable over here. And then nothing over here that's reserved for pictures of people who want to be chained up with the chains of death. All right, let's go through the tunnel of death with the bubbles. Oh, look, how cool. They have a fogging skull pile in here. It would be totally awesome if it were actually fogging, but I don't think they're allowed to do that in stores anymore, at least this season. We do have young Crouchy over here. Let's get him going. I know, I hear you. All right, yes, sir, we will leave you some stickers. Here you go. 
I am going to miss walking through here and seeing the bubbles of death. Just as much as I miss the chains of death and the fire of death that used to burn my face. Man, this is an enormous store, guys. We got uh, Mr. Monty over here with some visitors, so we'll come back to him a little bit later. But let's go ahead down here and see what kind of animatronics are for sale on the floor. Because look at this, they have tons of them. Holy crap, guys, look. They have a Huntress. Wow, I had considered getting the Huntress, but I don't know. I mean, on one hand, I love her. On the other hand, she's just kind of boring, but she is cool. Okay, so anyways, we have two nozzles. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five tombstones of terror, guys. We have a sandworm groundbreaker, two of these little Chuckies down here, a Huntress and a young Crouchy. And right behind it, we have a plethora more. We have a bog zombie on top. We have a nozzles on the bottom. We have a Mr. Punchy over here, a sitting scarecrow, and look at this, three skelly bones here. And of course, there's an Annabelle over here. Oh, and there's another Punchy over here. Let's make our way over here because look at this, guys. I love this so much. They actually have this guy blown up. The Fright in the Box. He is absolutely enormous. If you have not watched on my other channel called That Nate Guy on Halloween, go over there and make sure you subscribe and watch my video of setting him up. He is so absolutely huge and looks so much better in person than he does on the box. Uh oh, we have a ghost down. We have a ghost down. And we have Mr. Nazi over here. Let's get him going. Come on, Nazi, please. Please, Nazi. Okay, take your little rest. You deserve it. You know what? This guy is so cool, I think I'm going to put him in the thumbnail. How about just like that? We got the jumping spider over here who is in suspended animation. Look at that. He's still turned on, and he made sounds to scare us, but he couldn't jump. I'm sorry, sir, that you're frozen in time. And we have Regan. Let's go ahead and try to get her going. See, I've said it a hundred times, guys. I wish she did something else, had some kind of indication that she was actually working instead of just talking before she turns her head. Because when she turns her head, it gets really cool. But before then, she's just talking, and if you can't hear it, like over the crowds and the music in here, you have no idea she's even doing anything. And we have this enormous deadly creeper over here on the wall. I wonder why his tentacles aren't going. Come on, deadly creeper, try to kill me. There we go. He's officially trying to kill me. Oh, look at this. They have skelly bones over here in the corner guarding the tunnel of electric death. Let's see if he's actually going to turn on. I don't think he's even... No, he's not even plugged in or anything, but he's there to scare you. We have a plethora of inflatables here, including the Reaper, who I just saw up front, and now I'm very tempted to buy him. How much is this guy? I think he's 50 bucks. I can't even move this thing. It's stuck. Hold on. Okay, yeah, there we go. He's 50 bucks. Man, that guy is awesome. I love that we can see him in person in the store because we know exactly how big he really is. All right, let's go ahead through the electrical tunnel of death. I've heard it going on. I can see that these work. All right, we're buzzing. We're buzzing. We're electrifying. I love the electrical tunnel of death. Oh, this is funny. Over here among the masks, we have Nozzle's mask sitting here with his eyes all lit up, just waiting for the perfect victim. All right, let's take a quick look here at the creepy dolls. It looks like mostly we have the ladies. We have Rosalie, Decrepit Donna. Um, I guess that's all. Another Rosalie. And we have two pumpkin nesters. Oh, man, for a minute I thought it was a prop I'd never seen. I thought it was a head on a chain. How cool is that? And we have some zombie babies over here. And look at this. I think more than anybody, I've seen ravenous rubies missing one eye. What the heck? We haven't spent a whole lot of time looking at the severed limbs, so let's check them out. We have a severed latex hand, an entire arm. That's a very small hand. It must be a child's arm. We have a severed latex leg. That must also be a child's leg. 
And wait, look at the tip of this finger. What the heck? Like the bone is sticking out. How disgusting. All right, let's see. We got these bobbled heads up here, guys. We have two ghost faces. We have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have the Gremlins, but I do not see any Michael Myers bobbleheads. I do see the Sam Inflatable, as well as the Sam Sidesteppers, and Sam Lunchboxes, and Sitting Sam Dolls, and Hanging Sams. We have Carving Michaels and plenty of plush. And look over here, we have Skelly Bones plush, but I don't see any Crouchies anywhere. We do have the Bouncy Jack heads and the Bouncy Gizmo heads. Speaking of plush, I don't see any green Oogie Boogies. Heck, I don't even see the, the other kind of Oogie Boogies. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything in this aisle that we haven't seen. Past the Hanging Ghouls with Bad Breath. Oh, there's one down there. We have a ghost down. Another ghost down. Okay, we have, oh, well, we have the Billy Butcherson sidesteppers. We have the Lydia sidesteppers, the Bouncy Sam heads. And look, there's some hands here that are giving him one continuous bouncy pat. We can't forget about the Killer Clown sidesteppers. Let's leave them some stickers here. Wait a minute, guys, right up here at the front. How in the world did I ever miss these? We have an entire stack of deadly creepers. One, two, three, four, five deadly creepers, guys. What the heck? How did I possibly walk in the front door and see all this awesomeness and not see the deadly creepers? And here's our chance to come on over here and see Monty. There were people over here earlier, but now we're going to come see him. Hello, Monty. Are you going to talk to us today? Um, okay, I guess not. He's also in Frozen animation. Okay, let's come back over here and leave some stickers for the Secret Keeping Cat. And let's leave some for the Giant Inflatable Reaper. I think that is pretty much it, guys. I love coming up here right before I leave and looking at all the blind bags. These ones right here, I actually just opened an entire case on my other channel. And I believe that video should be up by the time you see this one. And these remind me of the Boo Buckets that just came back out at, uh, at McDonald's. I actually got a white one the other day. I've heard some people are finding the orange ones. And there also is a green one with a witch. But I don't see anything like that here. Let's make one quick swoop over here just to look at what they have in these departments before we leave. I do love the Chucky Good Guys ruler. I almost want to buy this just to use as a regular ruler, like when I'm building things. And we will end it with Ghost Face. And look at this. I always crack up when I see this. The mini chrome Ghost Face. That is absolutely hilarious. All right, guys, I think we're going to take off. I have a couple more of these to do today. Stick around because we still have several more stores to do, guys. Spirit Halloween, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. We out.